Hey home brewers, Brian here with Great Fermentations and this is Homebrew Quick Tips Episode 1. And today we'll be answering the question, are glass carboys really all that much better than plastic carboys? So, glass versus plastic, which one is better? As a homebrew shop owner, I get this question almost on a weekly basis. Should I really put my homebrewed beer that I'm spending lots of money on into a plastic container? Um, glass carboys are impermeable to oxygen. They're easy to clean and they don't scratch. So that's kind of a no-brainer, right? Well, in actuality, it's not really that simple. And today I'm gonna to talk about some of the myths and some of the advantages to plastic carboys over glass. Myth number one, plastic breathes. And what this means is plastic somehow lets in more oxygen to our homebrew than a traditional glass carboy would. So there is some truth to this. Plastic PET carboys do have a slightly higher oxygen permeability rate than a glass carboy does. However, if you are using a glass carboy, there's actually more oxygen that gets into your homebrew between the bung and the neck of the carboy than does through the actual walls of a PET plastic carboy. So take that into consideration. And on the spectrum of things we need to be worried about when we're making our homebrew, this slight variation between the two, in my opinion, has no bearing on whether or not you should be using PET plastic carboys for your primary or even your secondary fermentation. Okay, so myth number two. PET plastic carboys are hard to clean without scratching. So we've all heard it said, don't get your plastic carboy uh, because as soon as you clean it, it's going to get scratches all over it and bacteria is going to hide in those scratches and it's going to infect all the beers you make with it afterwards. So again, there is some slight truth to this. Using hard bristled brushes or green scrubbies or really putting some elbow grease into cleaning those plastic carboys, it can cause scratches. However, unlike other plastics, PET plastic is almost impervious to lots of harsh chemicals. So a simple solution to this, and what we do here at Great Fermentations all the time, is a simple overnight soak in something like a PBW, powder brewery wash. Um, an overnight soak with PBW will clean some of the most gunked up plastic carboys that you can find. Uh, enough where it could be just a simple rinse and it is completely clean. And if there's some more residue in there, you can add a simple white soft cloth into the carboy, shake it around, and the weight of the cloth banging against the walls of the carboy will help to jostle loose any other material that's still stuck. So you don't need to use hard bristle brushes, green scrubbies to clean it. A simple chemical solution like PBW and a light cloth will do the trick and keep your carboy looking clean for years. All right, so myth number three, plastic wears out. You know, it gets old, brittle, cracks, what have you. Um, and in the case of PET plastic carboys for home brewing, I could say nothing is farther from the truth. Just like anything you own in your brewery, if you take care of it, it's going to take care of you in the long run. In fact, some of the PET plastic carboys that rolled off the factory line 20 years ago are still in use today because they're owned by home brewers that take care of their equipment. So just like everything else in your brewery, take care of your PET plastic carboys and they will treat you well for their lifetime of use. All right, so we've talked about some of the myths of PET plastic carboys, but let's talk about some of the good things, the advantages they offer you. So advantage number one, PET plastic carboys are lightweight. A full glass carboy can weigh over 60 pounds. Need I say any more here? Um, PET plastic carboys, like the one I have behind me, it weighs a few ounces. Um, this is especially nice if you're like me, and your back isn't quite what it used to be. Um, lifting it up for racking or moving it to awkward spaces, just anything that's lighter weight is gonna make this hobby a lot more fun and allow us to do it for a lot longer. So that in and of itself is a big plus one for PET plastic carboys versus glass. All right, so advantage number two, durability. And I think this is the biggest advantage that PET carboys have over glass. Um, PET carboys, they're, they're practically unbreakable under normal use. Um, glass carboys, on the other hand, you could have them for you know, a year or two, they develop a small crack, and then one day you're moving your beer around and you bump it against a counter or you nudge it against another carboy, and then phew, it breaks. And when that carboy does break, not only have you lost all your homebrew, but you now have a potential shower of dangerous glass that you have to deal with. Um, do yourself a favor, 
do a Google image search for glass carboy injuries, and some of the pictures you're going to find on there are absolutely horrifying. So have a good stomach for it. But um, the durability of PET carboys by itself is uh, a great reason to use PET plastic carboys over glass. All right, so advantage number three. Um, PET plastic carboys have big necks. In fact, the neck of a PET carboy is almost double the size of a glass carboy. And this makes it a whole lot easier to do a lot of things. So number one, it makes it easier to get um, uh, you know, things in there to help clean it. Like I said earlier, uh, putting soft uh, cloths in there to help clean out makes that a lot easier. Um, it also makes it easier to put ingredients in and take ingredients out. So think uh, a secondary process where you have things like oak or spices or dry hops you're putting in there, PET plastic carboys with their bigger opening makes that even uh, that much easier. Um, and with the fur monsters that we have here behind us, they have a four inch opening. So you could fit your old hand down there. So you don't really have that with glass. And so it's the bigger neck just makes everyday use of the PET plastic carboy a heck of a lot easier than a glass carboy. All right, so advantage four, storage. So this kind of goes hand in hand with number one, but I thought it deserved its own mention. Um, and that's PET carboys are just plain easier to store. Because they're light, you can store it nearly anywhere it fits. Um, they're light, it's a breeze to put them somewhere high up. And because they don't break, you don't have to take a whole lot of care when you're stacking them either. So uh, just a whole lot easier to store than a glass carboy. All right, and that wraps things up for today. I hope we answered any questions you may have had about using PET plastic carboys, and I hope you feel a little more confident that they are completely fine to use for your everyday homebrew beers that you're making. Uh, and nothing against glass. We still use glass carboys here today. Um, to be honest, it's really about what fermenter is available that day, and that's usually what we go with. Um, and we also just wanted to really clear the air about some of the concerns people had about PET carboys and assure them that it is completely fine to use for your homebrew. So what I tell my customers all the time that ask about this is as long as you have good cleaning and sanitation techniques, good brewing processes, and great ingredients, great supplies, uh, you're going to make great beer whether or not you use glass or plastic. So thanks again for watching and listening. Make sure to check out greatfermentations.com for more homebrew quick tips and for great supplies for your everyday homebrew needs. Cheers.